la 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 la, leash. Hey guys, Lawrence here at the Peak Design flagship store in San Francisco, and today we're gonna to talk about Leash. Leash is Peak Design's ultralight, full-length camera strap. It's got all the features you expect from a Peak Design camera strap, but it packs down tiny and fits into any kit. It's got a bit of a cult following, and I think you're gonna see why. Leash is available in two colors, our ash and classic black colorways. Ash features leather detailing, while the black has synthetic hypalon. Both colorways feature comfortable and ultra durable webbing, plus custom made low profile robust adjustment hardware. And both colors use our anchors. Uh, they got anchor housings at the end here. Both straps come with four of our newest anchors, plus an anchor mount for the bottom of the camera and a hex wrench to attach the anchor mount. For those unfamiliar with Peak Design anchors, they're universal, attach quickly to your camera, and can hold up to 200 pounds each. Anchors allow for you to quickly remove or change the setup of your strap without having to untie any knots or move things through any sort of little loops or doublers or any of that nonsense. Anchor mount provides a low profile mounting point for our anchors on the bottom of your camera, and we'll show you why that's important when we run through the setups and the different carrying styles. Leash works great either as a primary ultralight strap or as a companion to our slide and slide light. It packs down so small, it should live in any kit. That way you're never without a strap when you need one. In fact, its packability has made it a favorite around the office. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, what do you know? Huh, there you go. Well, no way. Yeah, one more. It packs anywhere. All right, so step one is to install the anchors and the anchor mount onto your camera. So something to note about our newest V4 anchors is that they're not gonna fit directly into the smaller eyelets of some cameras. If you've got a camera like this Canon 5D, you can definitely get it to fit into this wider eyelet. However, on this Fujifilm, the eyelets are too small. And so you're gonna to need to use the split rings that come with your camera, or just go to your local camera store and pick up a new set. Installation is easy. First, grab an anchor. Feed the cord through the split ring and wrap it on itself. Then give it a good tug. Flip the camera and do the same thing on the other side. All right, so now we've got our anchors in both eyelets. For reference, here's what the anchors look like installed on that Canon with the wider eyelets. All right, so now let's flip the camera so we can install that anchor mount. Anchor mount works best when you keep its length oriented this way along the width of the camera. And when you're installing, give it a good crank with the hex wrench to make sure that it's on there pretty tight. No play. So take another anchor and mount it onto the anchor mount. I like to do it opposite of the grip side of your camera. All right, so now I got anchors on each of the eyelets and one on the bottom of the camera. And this is gonna give us the most versatility as we run through the different carry styles that Leash offers. Connecting your leash to the camera is super simple. Take both ends, guide the anchor into the opening on the anchor housing, guide it with your thumb, and give it a good tug. Do the same on both sides. Equally important to attaching is detaching the leash from your anchors. It's pretty easy to do also. Grab the housing, Press down on the face with your thumb and guide it back, and you're detached. Leash has three different carry styles. Classic around the neck, classic over the shoulder, and then our favorite, the crossbody sling style carry. Okay, let's start with neck carry. So attach the strap to your eyelid anchors, and there you go. Now, if the length isn't one you want, adjusting is easy. Just put your thumb behind the top piece of Hypalon 
can either pull down or back up. <laughs> Neck carry, classic. Another classic is over the shoulder. That was easy. So shoulder carry is where that smooth webbing and low profile construction really start to make themselves known. I can grab the grip of my camera and slide it around into shooting position really fast. All right, now let's move it over to sling style crossbody carry. Before we do that, I'm gonna detach the anchor from the grip side of my camera and reattach that on that anchor mount anchor at the bottom. What you'll notice right away is that the weight of the camera naturally wants to point itself down. And this frees up the grip for me to grab. And this becomes even more pronounced if you've got a big lens on your camera. Like this Canon, for example. All right, so now I'm gonna put the leash across my body. And we're ready to go. To get the right fit for my leash, I'm gonna use the back adjuster as a sort of set it and forget it. Make sure I've got it kind of where I feel comfortable. Make sure that this front adjuster is comfortably accessed and has a little movement space both up and down. The goal is for you to not touch that back adjuster too often and keep the front adjuster ready for all sorts of on the fly micro adjusting. So like I said earlier, this crossbody sling style carry is the preferred method for peak design camera straps. There's a couple reasons for that. The first reason is that my camera grip is easily accessed and that construction and materials of the strap allows me to sling it around and take my picture. The second reason we really like sling style carry is that I can store the camera at the small of my back. And when I walk around, it's no flop and I don't have to use a hand to keep it from moving around. Should I clean up the microphone cable? They'll deal with it. It's great to have your hands free when you're out there in the field, especially if you're a very gesture-oriented photographer talking to your subjects. Then, as soon as you're ready to shoot, reach around, grab that grip, and pull it up. Now, something sometimes I'll do is at the same time, reach into the adjuster and tighten the strap a little when I come up to shoot. The reason I do that is that it keeps the camera in a nice ready position if I've got a bunch of shots coming up. This adjuster design is super low profile, but really robust. You can really crank on it, but you don't even know they're there when you're not using them. If you're looking for tripod compatibility while you're using the leash, you should check out our separately available standard plate and dual plate. Here's a standard plate on the bottom of this Nikon. I'll just attach to it real quick. There you go. The standard plate and the dual plate are machined from aluminum and have dedicated mounting points for Peak Design anchors. Our anchors and straps are also compatible with many of our pouches and cubes, like this small camera cube. I can attach the leash to the cube that I've got my anchors on already. Now I've got a great little day bag. Our straps and anchors turn those cubes and pouches into the smallest and lightest Peak Design bags. You can wind a leash up and have it super small tucked away in one of these pouches or these cubes. And I like to do that because then whenever I get somewhere from traveling, I can attach the strap to the bag and have a great little day bag. Leash is the little strap that could. Its packability, versatility, and handsome good looks make it a favorite not just at the office, but with all of our customers. I'll probably get in trouble for saying it because it's not our most expensive strap, but it's definitely my favorite. As always, if you've got any questions, reach out to our customer service team and happy shooting. Leash. All right. Neck carry is a classic way to put your camera around your body. Neck carry, classic. 
<laughs> if you've got a really long lens, that can uh, be sweet. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, what do you know? Huh, there you go. Huh? no way. Yeah, one more. It packs anywhere. <laughs>